Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 9th, 2022. Well, happy Friday, everyone. How about we take a look at what's happened overnight? Um, overnight, Asian markets were mostly closed. We have the Lunar New Year going on and um, China's markets is going to be closed uh, today and actually most of next week I think there's going to be a lot of their markets closed but that being said we had um, Japan making um, a brand new um, uh, 34 year highs over there so uh, keep uh, an eye on that European markets are mostly higher across the board. We have the CAC down just a little tiny bit. Um, there was some uh, new data out that German inflation fell just a little bit, so uh, marginally lower there. Um, what we have though is modest gains and losses uh, across the board there in Europe at the moment. Kind of a cautious morning. Um, we have Dow futures and SPY and, and NASDAQ futures all looking a little bit higher, a recovery off of overnight lows. And I'll talk about why that might be the case and why today might be kind of an interesting day here in just a moment. We have uh, bond yields kind of holding in there. The two year is at 4.47. The 10 year has turned just a little bit lower at 4.18. Our 30 year bonds are at 4.36. So demand for bonds this week was really high. They could have continued to sell those and that has some worry that there may be some revisions in inflation um, higher. If we um, um, look at next week's economic calendar, we've got a CPI coming on Tuesday. Um, and a PPI on Friday. So we'll want to um, be thinking about that as we plan our risk into the weekend. Um, let's take a look um, on the oil side of things. Oil is pretty flat this morning. Kind of a mix there on oil and gas, just um, mostly lower, I would say. Pretty flat, um, even though we had a big surge yesterday in that sector of the market. And if we were um, taking a look um, um, in gold and silver, those kind of things, still a mix there because we continue to have that dollar fluctuating around on this uncertainty um, on rates. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at our charts. And remember, we want to look at these charts trying to just look at what would happen if the bulls were inspired today, if the bears were inspired today, so that we take a look at the true picture and to really take a look at the chart, not just what we want the market to do, but what the chart is saying the possibilities are. And if we take a look at the diamonds that way, well, we can see we've got great potential here that we can continue to move on higher. We're trying to pump up here already this morning. Notice we have a little spinning top doji and a little bit of a hammer pattern here left yesterday, but um, there is some reason why I kind of expect us to push higher today, at least for a little while. Um, let's take a look here. Um, if we can break on through We've just got that wick up there right now as our resistance high, and we've got potential blue sky above that, so every reason to believe that we could keep pushing. One thing you want to be kind of keeping an eye on is we're continuing to expand to the upside, yet our volume has been quite low, so at some point in time that could uh, shift and roll over. And we've been seeing just a little tiny bit more bearish activity. Obviously yesterday we were moving lower for a bit until we bounced back up um, as tech rebounded um, yesterday afternoon, uh, moving higher. So if we take a look, um, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, I think first off, what we'd be looking for is a test down here, maybe test the lows of yesterday, see if we could uh, push down uh, below that. And if we were to go any further than that, 
there's some support right in here and then breaking through that level will go lower um, into some of these lower areas to test in, in the market. Now, just keeping in mind this upside trend will also kind of give up if we, uh, it won't take much actually, to, to squeeze this lower and, and break this current upside trend here in the diamond. So just be, pre be prepared, stay with the upside trend, but remember to uh, keep those, keep tightening up those stops just in case the stumble does occur. I don't really particularly think that's going to happen today. Fridays have been one of those days where we really uh, drive into the market to close out the week strongly. And um, I think with corporate buybacks and things like that, that's a pretty good likelihood that we try to push on higher today. But you never know, so be prepared. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, and this is why I think there's a pretty good chance that we're going to push on higher. Um, notice that we are very, very close here to um, um, a 5,000 mark in the SPY. And we're at 499.21 here um, at the moment in the pre-market. Uh, I don't think, you know, I don't think the bulls got all dressed up to miss that opportunity to pop 5,000. And if they pop 5,000, we could stretch out there for a little bit just in the celebration of hitting 5,000 and we'll see all of the floor traders, you know, they'll be putting on their 5,000 point hats and getting photo ops and stuff going on if we pop through there. So watch that carefully here. Now, one thing we will want to consider is to stretch this up here. We've been up pretty heavily here in the last several days. Um, and, and that's what we've been seeing, a kind of a trend in this market. Once we start moving to the upside, we just stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. So keeping in mind, we could be coming close to the end of that run and 5,000 could end up being a natural resistance for us if we break through and can't hold that level up there. So um, I'm looking for up here, uh, first thing, a blue sky above and that 5,000 area to be tested if the bulls find inspiration. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then we start pushing back down and we start testing some of these areas here in the chart um, for price supports. Um, and I think there is that possibility of some pretty big point moves could be coming in the very near future. Um, um, so watch carefully, raise those stops, stay with the trend, but don't um, don't overtrade this at the moment. Don't chase um, at the moment. There could be some danger here um, lurking uh, next week um, as we've really stretched up and we continue to see volumes here in the market declining. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Very much the same situation. Blue sky above, continuing to stretch to the upside. Um, every reason to believe that they're going to continue to push. Um, big tech continues to dominate the market. All three of these indexes continues to dominate those um, indexes and continuing to squeeze higher. I, I am still kind of surprised that um, of the willingness to chase stocks higher right now. There just seems to be no concern about that whatsoever that we're never going to fall in those big techs. But trust me, there'll be a day when we do. So watch that carefully. Um, blue sky above, um, certainly um, here in the QQQ, there's no particular resistance up there. If we start to come back down and those bears catch some inspiration, of course, testing some of these candles right in here, that little area right there would be the first area to be watching. And then, of course, back down here to try and test that support. And at least the QQQ stopped for a little while to create a little support where the SPY and, and diamonds really hasn't for a, a period of time. So watch that carefully. And then if we push on through down below there, I think there's a pretty good chance we come down into here and uh, we'll be testing this trend here in the chart. And once again, this is some big point moves in the market. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM also had a pretty good day yesterday pushing up and trying to break this downtrend. And you can see in the pre-market, we're trying to pump through this downtrend. And I'm gonna be watching this pretty closely. This resistance up here will be um, interesting to me to watch uh, today. Um, if we were to break back through that resistance, 
well then um, I'm going to be maybe changing some opinions but right now I see that possibility that this resistance could hold and we could pop up in here reverse and turn back lower we'll want to watch that carefully here as we go along because it is also possible that we have that potential here that higher low putting in here we push up and make a higher low and once again we turn this line green again as we bounce through it we back and forth back and forth seesawing in here remember IWM doesn't have the benefit of the big tech giants and if we start to see uh, the major um, indexes running into some pullback area IWM is likely to join that group so um, just be careful if we take a look at our um, VIX our VIX is showing us no fear here at the moment, but it is interesting as we continue to climb here in the market, we're not we're not getting a lot of energy here in the VIX to push on down, but there's every reason to believe we can keep pushing lower, testing these support areas of the market, and even dropping way into here if we can get a big surge to the upside. So um, we're down here in these complacency areas of the market where there is no fear, and that always makes me nervous when the market thinks there's no chance of us ever turning around. Um, we'll want to be prepared just in case. So again, stay with the trend, but raise those stops and make sure you're paying um, attention so that you're protecting your profits and your capital. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 is showing us here that we did move up nicely yesterday, so there's more stocks moving up yesterday than moving down as we surged back up after going lower initially. And you can see here in the market that if we can continue to find bullish inspiration, we've got plenty of room up here if those bulls can grab onto something here in the market. And attaining 5,000 seems like a pretty good likelihood. Um, no matter what the news is, they're gonna try, I think, to push up there. And then if the bears were to find inspiration, we've opened up a big opportunity for that move to the downside here. So just keep that in mind here on T2122. If we take a look at our T2108, now T2108 turned back up yesterday as well. So that's good news here for the bulls and that opportunity that we can push on through um, and hit some of those record levels that they're, they're uh, everyone's eyeing. If you take a look across here, we're still below that 50% area. And that right in there is probably gonna serve maybe as a little bit of resistance. Overall, you wanna make note that we've been moving to the downside here on T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. But it's nice to see that little bit of push back up, and if they can continue to push up, finding those resistance levels, that's where we'll wanna watch for maybe that push back to the downside. So keep an eye on that one. And then T2107, T2107 also showing us that situation where we moved up yesterday and this one looks better um, uh, than the T2108. You can see we've got a good level of price support in there on the chart. Obviously still struggling in that a bit of a downtrend but we're holding above the 50% area and that possibility that we could bounce back up into here looks pretty good that we could rally up and catch some resistance up in here. So kind of keep an eye on that. Now if we were to take a look at our breadth of the market, this is a concern for me. We continue to stretch higher and higher and higher in the market, yet our market breadth is weak. And as I continue to mention, the leadership of the market is what's been really kind of um, thin, I, I, well, thinner than I have ever seen in my trading career because um, it, it's a select handful of stocks doing most of the lifting in the market. So you'll want to keep in mind um, that we have that issue. Now, one thing that's also a surprise for me in T2101 is a lot of these companies are coming out from under their blackout period. And we haven't really, as we normally would see, kind of a surge in breadth with those corporate buybacks and things like that helping to push the market higher so be kind of careful here if we were to see um, 
um, a continued move up today and that breadth of the market continuing to fall. That's a problem for us because we have that major divergence going on here in the actual energy in the market. So watch that one carefully. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well we don't have much to go on here today and that's one of the things we're going to be fighting against here in the market not a lot to be influenced by here today we've got the baker hughes rate count which nobody's probably going to care about and then we've got logan speaking here today uh, one of the fed speakers and, and that's it there's nothing else and we're going to be thinking about that next week a busy week with cpi coming in on tuesday so um kind of think about that there could be a lot of shuffling around here um when we as planning into that next week and what that's going to mean of course china being closed probably helps us out a little bit because we're not uh, continuing to hear about some of their their problems and issues over there um, amounting in um, real estate manufacturing and those kind of things let's take a look at our earnings calendar and our earnings calendar we have a few things on here today but it's much lighter than what we've seen here recently so not as much to find inspiration in here today we've got i'm going to run through these quickly we've got um, aqn that will be reporting today um, we've got amxc reporting today um, let's see CTLT ENB MGA COOP NWL PepsiCo has already port reported this morning um, showing a little bit of a problem there after its report We've got uh, PAA reporting today, QSR, and let's see, TIXT, and last but not least, WPC on that notable list. So much fewer stocks here today uh, for reacting to, and if you noticed, other than PepsiCo, Newell, um, Newell Brands, there's not you know those big inspirational reports in there today to provide us a whole lot of um, oomph um, um, in the market so just kind of keep that in mind as we pop and try to stretch this morning to to get that uh, 5,000 area in the spy um, we could also see once we hit up there kind of a well a major softening of the market as we wait for the cpi um, on next Tuesday so um, don't be too surprised if after we touch up here that we end up with more of a light and choppy day uh, barring any other geopolitical or events um, uh, unknown events in the market let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps a the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who does do that i appreciate it so much and please um, um i apologize yesterday with um having that pre-op um uh, physical that i had to do heading into this um surgery that i'm doing on the 20th um uh, and not to worry guys it's just it's a foot surgery so it's not life-threatening in any way but um um, I didn't get a chance to um, answer those comments yesterday, so I'll be back on that task this morning. So if you have questions or comments or something like that that I can help you with, please feel free to post that in the, uh, the comment section of the video. Let's take a look at um, some of these charts setting up. And uh, keep in mind, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. And as I said, um, stay with the trend, but continue to raise those stops and be a little bit cautious for that potential that a pullback could be coming soon. 
Let's take a look in the oil sector here. Um, we had a good surge in oil yesterday. This is XLE ETF. Nice little price pattern in here. You'll notice um, if we take a peek here, we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to develop in that chart. Um, we'll want to watch that carefully if we continue to push on through to the upside, breaking some of these resistance levels in the chart. Well, um, you know, that issue of rising gas prices is not something we none of us want to see. But with the, the conflict going on in the Middle East, um, that continues to raise um, those concerns in that area and um, keep those keep those prices higher so watch that carefully and you can look at lots of stocks out there Exxon Mobil putting in a really nice pattern here in the chart trying to hold up break through resistance a nice break of the downtrend I would keep a pretty close eye on some of these stocks if we look at like PSX now PSX has had no pullback measurable pullback in the market this thing just continues to run to the upside um, little consolidating move here in the chart. Um, I think it needs a little bit more consolidation before you would want to jump on that and, and move on higher, but there is that possibility that continues to stretch to the upside. If we take a look at stocks like MRO, they're down here on the bottom trying to put in a W bottom formation, a tiny little higher low in there. So I would watch this one, a break of this downtrend in here and hold would then maybe start that opportunity to move back up in the chart. Um, so watch that closely. This is a big area of price support here um, in the chart. And you know things like OXY, uh, Warren Buffett's favorite stock at the moment. Um, he is a huge owner in um, Occidental. So watch this carefully. Um, if this were to break this downtrend and hold up in here, that opportunity we could start moving on higher here in Occidental. Let's take a look at a few of those techs out there. There are a couple that are of concern. Um, Apple, if you notice in here, Apple pushing down here the last couple of days, we may be finding a little bit of a resistance area here in the chart and that possibility that Apple could slip lower. So kind of keep an eye on that. Apple may be running into a little bit of uh, worry and concern, even though, um, and maybe they haven't started their corporate buyback actions yet, but we'll want to watch that carefully. And if you take a look here at our major moving averages, the 50 day, this is a failure at the 50. And oftentimes we fail the 50. We call this a blue ice failure um, in hit and run candlesticks and right way options. Um, that we tend to test the 200 day moving average after a failure like that. And if that were the case, if that were to come into play, well, you could kind of draw this out here as that possible head and shoulders top if that starts to form up here. So watch that carefully. Another one that I would be watching on, um, yeah, pretty closely here even though they had an upgrade and things like that happen here recently uh, take a look at Google trying to stretch on up here this morning um, we've got this big gap down in here and we're approaching a little bit of price resistance right here in the chart that possibility that this could struggle in here and then begin that rollover um, uh, we'll want to watch that carefully take a look at um, our AMD here AMD holding up here really good really strong but we do have that possibility of this little lower high here coming into play we haven't broken this support yet so it's possible this is just going to be some kind of a flat consolidating wedge and then we continue to the upside but watch that closely there are some little bit of hints starting to come into play that maybe we have taken some of these stocks little bit too far a little too fast so watch that carefully in some of these um, let's take a look at um, TEVA TEVA continues to consolidate in this pattern here beautiful little upside trend and we're resting back towards support so watch this carefully there's no reason to believe we just can't keep continuing these patterns that we've been seeing here 
come back in here and trend rest a little bit and, and look on through to the upside teva looking uh pretty darn nice take a look at marvel marvel for my alert here popped move up to tag this resistance resting now maybe just a little bit but there's nothing wrong with this chart at all a little bit more rest in here and that opportunity that we could build enough energy to pop on through that area certainly looks like a possibility obviously this is that resistance that we're struggling with pop through there and then we have those opportunities we can start seeking out all-time highs there in marvel so watch that one close if we were to take a look at some of retail take a look at walmart my goodness walmart um has just been stretching and stretching and stretching since my alert down in here pushing up nicely um, breaking out here uh, or attempting to break out and notice that that's all-time highs as it heads into its earnings report on the 20th so watch that carefully in here any rest consolidation in here back to this trend continues to set up that opportunity for that next move higher um, blue sky highs there in walmart um, target hasn't been enjoying uh, blue sky highs or anywhere close to that but what they have been enjoying is this breakthrough resistance and we had a big move on the earnings here and we popped through a major area of resistance and notice that we're just kind of resting here now so i would watch that carefully if this can hold then we look for that opportunity to maybe move on higher here in target and i'm even going to bring up shopify there's my alert on that chart and by the way guys if you're interested in the way we trade um, i talk about this stuff all day long in the trading room feel free to you know run over there to the website and pick up a trial uh, come on in and you can see these trades as they're developing as i'm alerting on these nice move after that pop through on shopify continuing to stretch to the upside so keep an eye on that as we push into these next levels of price resistance here in the chart so looking uh, pretty darn good any rest or pullback in there would set up um, an opportunity on shopify um, let's take a look at some of the pay systems out there um, you, there's nothing well, there, we even though our credit cards i'm a little bit um s struck by the fact that we have credit card debt now at 1.3 trillion dollars we've never been this high before but there seems to be no end to this willingness of the consumer to can continue to buy up um, debt um, here in our economy so watch that carefully we've got a flat top little consolidation going on in here maybe a little bit of a pennant pattern coming into play we could continue this consolidation all the way out here to this trend but watch for that next opportunity we just really love debt anymore and um, there's every reason to believe that um, mastercard could go on higher we've got visa visa um, had a little bit of a struggle there yesterday pulling back but this has been in a very strong upside trend watch that resistance in here this little consolidating room um, uh, measure in here this i think has a little bit more potential to go either direction but watch that if that can push on through to the upside and take a look at um, sq sq block it's been trying to make that move here as well we're breaking out from underneath this downtrend trying to break back up through this resistance so there's that little higher low that possibility that we could start stretching this one back on higher here to test some of those resistance levels in the chart definitely looks like a possibility so there's quite a few stocks for you to look at today hey um i want to say thank you to everyone um who um does take the time to respond to these videos and leave comments i appreciate it so much i want to wish you all a wonderful day and also hope you have a fantastic weekend with you and your family be careful out there be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have an awesome awesome friday